In this problem, we have to find the domain of this vector-valued function. The domain is the set of all inputs. So it's all the values of t that we can plug into this expression that makes sense. So t squared, this is OK because you can plug in anything here. Likewise here, you can plug in any, any number and it's fine. The only possible issue is the square root. So you can't take the square root of a negative number. So whatever is in the square root has to be 0 or positive. So we take whatever is in the square root and we make sure it's 0 or positive. So we have to solve this inequality for t. So one way to do it is to factor and use something called the test point method. Another way to do it, a little more elegant, is to think about this graphically. This is an upside down parabola. right? You can think of it like negative t squared plus 4. And it shifted up by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it looks like that. This is 2 because 4 minus 2 squared is 0. And this is negative 2. Right? If you plug in 2 or negative 2 here, you get 0. So these are the x-intercepts. We want to know when the graph is greater than or equal to 0. So it's going to be from here to here. So it would be negative 2 to 2. And that's the domain of the vector-valued function. I hope that made sense.